Okay, we're going to look at um, geometric sequences now, the same type of questions we did with the arithmetic sequence. Uh, N still stands for the particular term you're looking for, how many terms there are, or the, and A stands for the first term. Uh, but R stands for not uh, the common difference, it stands for the common ratio. So instead of um, adding something or subtracting the same uh, uh, constant each time, you're multiplying by a particular number, uh, integer, or maybe a fraction. Uh, let's take a look at this one. Oh, there's a way to figure it out, though. Anyways, well, let's just try. The eighth term, Tn, um, we're supposed to find the eighth term, so that's T8, what we're looking for. Well, A is 1, there it is. But if you want to find um, the common ratio, all you do is you take the two terms, and instead of subtracting them, you divide them. You go R, um, you go, sorry, 3 divided by 1. You could go 9 divided by 3, but the smaller numbers are a little easier. 3 divided by 1 is just 3, so R is 3. So instead of R, you put 3. Well, we know we're looking for the 8th term, so N is 8. So you go 8 minus 1. That gives you 7. Well, 1 times 3 to the 7th, that's just 3 to the 7th. Put it in your calculator, and it's 2,187. Well, here's another sequence, 3, 6, 12. A is 3. Oh, let's figure out what they're asking for. If Tn is equal to 192, so now you know some term. We don't know what N is, but the nth term, whatever N is, is 192. So Tn is equal to 192. A is the first term, that's 3. And R is 6 divided by 3 is 2, so R is 2. Now, all you do, now the key with this one is you divide both sides by 3. 192 divided by 3 is 64. And now, when working with exponents, there's a key thing here all the time. You try and get things into powers of prime. See, this is 2 to some power. The only way this thing's going to work is if 64 is 2 to some power, and it turns out to be 2 to the 6th power. You can push a button on your calculator that will tell you that. Um, shift and then factors after you put 64 in. Now, once you get the bottoms the same, the only way these two could be uh, the same is if the ex exponents were the same. So n minus 1 must equal 6. You add 1 to both sides, n must be 7. And now we come to a question that's a little harder where we have to use a system of equations. What if we knew uh, you had a geometric sequence whose second term was 6 and seventh term is 192? Well, we know from the formula a times r to the n minus 1. We can go a times r. Well, n is 2. So we go 2 minus 1. It's r to the first power. And here it's 7, just like that arithmetic, it was n minus 1. We go a times r, and now n minus 1 is 7 minus 1. It's r to the 6. Well, the seventh term, there it is, a times r to the 7 minus 1, which is r to the 6, is 192. Now, the trick here, instead of subtracting, we divide both sides. Uh, well, it's a system of equations, so we divide the two equations. A times R to the sixth divided by A times R. Well, A divided by R, hey, that cancels. R to the sixth divided by R to the one is R to the fifth. 192 divided by six is 32. Okay, 32 is really two to the fifth power. And now we can see the only way these two things could be equal is if R equals two. Now you know that R is two. You take R and you substitute it back into the easiest one of these first equations. So instead of R, we put 2. So we've got A times 2 equals 6. Well, divide both sides by 2. You get A is 3. So the first term is 3. And then we multiply by 2. That's the common ratio. 3 times 2 is 6. 6 times 2 is 12. There it is. It's all done. Maybe I talked a little fast too, but you can play this video again and again and, uh, you know, until you, it makes sense to you. Okay.